What have we seen today so far? Uh, so far we saw a group of about 12 ewes and a couple young rams. And then the seagull found, uh, or I should say Mr. Seagull, Mr. seagull. found a uh, group of about six rams. They all look like young rams. As we got to the next spot, the first thing we noticed was some ewes in the high rocks above the guzzler. Our attention quickly changed as Justin spots this ram in the flats. After talking to Courtney, we decide this is the ram on the first day that we are going to put the stock on and try to put on the ground. if she actually hit or not. I think I can see him on the way back. Me and Pat are left up here glassing the ram that we found while they went and tried to get a stock on. And she shot three times. I got most of it on video through the phone scope. I don't, I don't know if she hit him. All I could see were the second and third shot. I'm pretty sure she missed both of those. But, um, I don't know. We'll see when they get back. Because all we could, all me and Pat could see was the ram taking off up the ridge. And he didn't look hurt. So, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what they say when they get back to us. After her second shot misses, we watch the ram cripple across the desert, thinking that he is hurt. Finding little blood, we find to our surprise that the ram is not as injured as we think, and we watch him disappear over the mountain. As I walk back to reconvene and meet with Pat and Justin, Kirk and Courtney chase the cheat miles until he is out of sight and out of mind and the mountain is too steep for them to go any further. After a great first day, the second day starts off slow, so Justin and I take a hike as Courtney, Pat, and Kirk go to the second spot to glass, and then we got a call. But we just talked to Seago, Mr. Seago, and he said they spotted some sheep right where they were at yesterday. As we got back to where they were, we first focused on finding the sheep, and then, to our surprise, we got there and found Courtney, set up, ready to take the shot, waiting for the sheep to stand. As we watch her first shot connect, we continue to watch the sheep as he goes over to where we can no longer see him thinking that he is down. Little to our surprise, he stands back up and we watch her put another shot through him. As he goes to the ground, we are so excited we can't get there fast enough. Now that the pictures have been taken, 
the work has just begun as Pat and Kirk quarter skin Justin and I load quarters into our packs and we cannot wait to start this hike with Courtney with her big desert bomber strapped to her back back to the truck to get back to camp to sit by the fire and tell the story over and over again. While sitting by the fire reminiscing a hunt that is a once in a lifetime opportunity and being able to share this with this group of friends means the world to us and a new friend, Victor Trujillo, who helped us score the sheep after he got back to his camp. Thank you so much for letting us be a part of this hunt, and we can't wait to be a part of more. Hope everyone enjoyed the Desert Bomber.